Featherstone Rovers are the visitors to the DIY Kitchen Stadium for round 17 of the Brentford Championship. And after last week's disappointing defeat by Toulouse, coach Daddle Powell will surely be insisting on a vastly improved, improved performance. For the changes to the Trinity side, Lachlan Walmsley starts at fullback, Jenny McGilvery is back on the right wing, and Jack Croft starts in the centre. The injured Ian Thorne missing out. It's Ollie Pratt and Darrell Alfords the left centre and left winger. Max Giant has moved to half-back to partner Luke Gale. And in the pack it's Josh Bowden, Liam Hood, Luke Bain, Matty Ashurst, Josh Griffin and Jay Pitts. And on the bench, Caleb, Hemlin, Welly, Toby Boothroyd's back, Tommy Doyle will play his 100th career game and Isaac Shaw. 18th man is Liam Kay. We will now have a minute's applause because Bill Arthur, the former Sky commentator, sadly passed away this week, failing in his bid to defeat that horrible cancer defeat. Our thoughts go out to his wife Cherry, to his children Simon, Meredith, Kit and Nancy. A minute's of pause for the late great Bill Arthur. The whole of the DIY Kitchen Stadium show their respects for the late Sky commentator Bill Arthur. I've given you the Trinity team, let's quickly go through the Featherson Rovers team with a number of former Trinity players in there. Greg Edens at fullback, it's Maddox Jeffrey, Connor Barley, Greg Minikin and Connor Wynn, halfbacks of Ben Reynolds and Caleb Aikens. He plays a 100th career game, as does Tommy Doyle. In the pack it's Gadwin Springer, Harry Bowes, a former Trinity man, Ben Nakabuai, Josh Hardcastle, Brad Day and Sammy Kibula. On the bench, it's Jack Arnold, Morris Camano, Leo Tennyson and Zeus Zilk. Referees the Australian, James Vella. Thanks for joining me, TC and cameraman Andy Davis. It's round 17 of the Bedford Championship. And it's going to be a good contest between the near neighbours. They've met twice. Featherson defeated Trinity in the Challenge Cup. Was that a blessing in disguise? Many think it was. Because Trinity went on, of course, to win the 1895 trophy down at the Wembley Stadium and the Trinity beat Featherstone in round two of the Brentford Championship across there at the Millennium Stadium. Australian Caleb Aitken gets the game underway. Trinity with the first touch of the ball. And the drive from Luke Bain playing at prop forward and Liam Hood quickly in the acting half back. Josh Griffin with the next drive. When in 14, Harry Bowes, an ex-Trinity man, who did act in half-back. Here comes Jay Pitts, offload, Luke Gale, Matty Asher, the skipper running wide. Just about reaches the 30-metre line. Back to the right with Pitts. Pitts doesn't cut on this occasion. Drive the ball in up towards the 40. Featherson defenders back inside their own half. Josh Bowden crosses the halfway line. Minikin went low, the former York, Castleford, Hulkeard and Warrington man. Last tackle, Gale to the right. Goes high from right to left. And Greg Eden, a veteran now with over the 200 games. 100 not tries for Castleford in his career down, down lane. Takes the ball, put to ground by Holly Pratt and Ashurst. Oh, that's a bit high from Matty Ashurst. Referee allows play to go. He's an Australian, this man. James Vella. Will skip from uh, Connor Wynn, the former Hullman. Doesn't get beyond the defence. 
of Griffin and Croft. Good tackle, Pizzi. Assisted by Bain. Good to see Toby Boothroyd back after his injuries. He's on the bench. It's another good tackle. The ball's being lost. Griffin and Pitts. Sammy Kibula is on loan from Cass. He says something's gone on in the tackle. Referee saw it. The ball was clearly lost. And Trinity will get the ball from the scrum on the 30. Perfect conditions, firm underfoot. It's going to be hot. This is Luke Gale looking for the runners. Inside ball to Ollie Pratt, the informed centre. Loses the ball, it went backwards. No, it went backwards. This time it's the Featherson defenders it cheer. Clearly went backwards. I know I'm biased, but dear to me. Head and ball, Featherson on the 30 metre line. Aikins will feed the scrum. He's a New Zealander, by the way, not an Australian. Harry Bowes at the base, the hooker, former Trinity player. Goes left with Brad Day. Now it's the turn of Gadwin Springer, the Frenchman. Played at Castleford in Toronto, inside the Trinity half. Nakabuai finds support. Ben Nakabuai. Minikin shows the dummy off. It's took the dummy. Support on the inside from the Featherson player. Last tackle. Trinity have got to defend the 10 metre line. Kick from Aikens across the field of play. Where's Jerry McGilvery? Tipped back by the first and player. McGilvery hangs on. Good defence, Trinity, but the danger was there. Featherson showing what they can do. Turnover. McGilvery's been out for the last couple of weeks. He had a reoccurrence of that tricep muscle problem, but he is driving the ball onto the 10 metre line. Hooded acting half back. It'll be Jack Croft. Seen been last week in Toulouse. Not suspended, but fined for his misdemeanours with a dangerous tackle. Olfords, no nonsense drive. Keen defence, Featherson defence. Now it's Josh Bowden. Nice five metres from the front row forward. Short side from Hood. Gale dummies inside and he finds Pratt on the halfway line. Last tackle. Hood quickly in. Gale will kick, will he? Yes, he will. No problem for Greg Eden. Spent time at Halifax earlier this season. That's good to tackle. Who else? Jay Pitts. And Josh Griffin, by the way. Pitts again. Griffin and Bowden. Aiken again at acting half now. Minikin with the drive. Keen defence from Trinity. Nakabuai is on loan from Lee. Short side. Harry Bowes kicks, Walms is at full back, it bounces beyond Walmsley, gathers it on the second attempt, goes outside Bowes, now he stops, comes back inside, pushes him away, Aiken assists in the tackle. McGilvery with the drive, he had a Alfords to his left, Max Jarrett playing in the halves, is it acting half back and here comes Darrell Alfords. Ollie Pratt as he got through the gap. Almost at the halfway line, Ollie Pratt. 
Scruffield to play the ball. Pitt sends a dummy, always sends a pass outside to Josh Griffin. He dummied inside. Still at least one tackle in this set of six. We're inside the Featherson half. Short side with Jowett. McGill raises it down that right wing. It comes inside, two side steps, brings him inside. And the offload. Walmsley loses his footing. Last tackle on the 10. Liam Hood is looking for the runners. This is Max Jowett, crossfield kick. He even loses the ball in the goal area. Was it not followed by the Trinity player? It was. It's the turnover. Holfitz loses the ball as he knocks on as in the attempt to catch the ball. No criticism, Darrell. Neil Apiece, we're in the eighth minute. Here at a pack DIY Kitchen Stadium. It looks a delight, doesn't it? It's full. Plenty of red, white and blue replica shirts. And the sun's shining. And it's all to play for. Round 17, Betfred Championship. Springer crosses the 30. Griffin defends. Harry Bowes away from acting halfback. Nakabuai goes back from whence it came. Short of the halfway line by about five metres. Trinity have got to go back to the referee. Nakabuai again skips, crosses the halfway line. Last tackle. Reynolds to the left. It goes right with Aiken. Kicks under pressure from Hood. Should be Lack and Walmsley's. And it is, no problems, no, uh, no Featherson players within 10 metres of him. Gaylord acting halfback, Croft with the drive. That looked high, penalty Trinity, clumsy tackle. Good start to this game, nothing given. Eight and a half gone, nil apiece. Our cameraman, Andy Davies, wipes the sweat from his brow. It's warm, isn't it, Andy? <laughs> Good kick from Gale. 15 metres inside the Featherson half. Jack Croft will restart with a tap and offload, will he? Yes, he will. Jowett finds Luke Bain. Spins in the tackle of uh, Nakabuai and Springer. Comes left with uh, Josh Bowden. Missed a couple, but back in form now. Josh Bowden, Hoda acting halfback. Back to the right with Pitts. The offload to Jowett, inside ball to Griffin. Can't, again, can't get beyond Nakabuai and Springer. Pitts again, first receiver. Do we to turn the ball inside? He's still going, Jay Pitts to within four metres. Now then, Hoodie, dare you? Offload Bowden, reaches Bowden, scores! Great ball, Liam Hood. He doesn't score many, doesn't Josh Bowden. It's his third championship try of the season. Scored in memory of the late Mel Downing. Kick to come, Trinity lead Featherson Rovers by four points to nil. And we're in the tenth minute. I think Liam Hood was tempted to a show and go, and I think the Featherson defenders knew that. Short pass into the onrushing arms of Josh Bowden. First try of the game. Scored in the tenth minute. Trinity lead their near neighbours by four points to nil. The water carriers are on in their numbers for both teams. Try scored about what 12 metres maybe or so from the left post. We'll get a good shot of this match, Jowett. In fine goal kicking form. Referee stops the official timekeeper's watchers. Jowett steadies himself. No problem for Max Jowett, sponsored by Beat Autism. The conversion attempt is good. And Trinity now lead Featherson 6 0. Trying to 
Aitken, no, it's Reynolds to restart, not Aitken's on this occasion. Oh, he's gone deep. Has he gone out on the full? Hey, as you know, penalty Trinity on the centre spot. Too much porridge, Ben. Joined Featherson at the start of the season, then he went to Hull. It was a strange move. He didn't, I think he played a couple of games, if that. Then he went back to Featherston. No ball, says Max. Luke Gale to put the penalty into touch, hopefully. Not a problem for Gailey. Onto the 30 metre line. Croft with the tap and the offload. And the offload. Bowden tries scoring and knocks on. Featherson grabbed the ball and the referee allows play to go on because the Featherson player has almost reached the halfway line. And the tackle count is back to one. Bowes to the right, Minikin with the drive across the halfway line. Spring is still going, and the ball comes out in the tackle into the hands of Brad Day. Tackle by Pitts. Nakabawai. Deep to Aikens. Short ball. Featherson 15 out. In fact, a little bit closer than that. Bowes are acting halfback. Short side with Aikens. Kicking to the corner. Covered by Alford. He does well, does Darrell Alford. Put his body on the line. He had to do. He gets possession five metres or so from his own line. Here comes Pratt. That's high again on Ollie Pratt. The referee says it's across his chest. Not sure about that, I'm not sure how they probably sure. Alfred's with the next drive, does well. From fullback, Lachlan Walmsley, short side Liam Hood is away and he's made 10 metres from acting half back. Nice little scoot on the last tackle. Matty Asher said acting half back, Gale's the first to see if he's got to go deep with the kick, which he does now. Bounces into touch. Beyond the waiting arms of Connor Wynn, the former home man. Turnover, of course, because the ball went into touch and it was the last tackle. Springer to play the ball. Bowes had acting half back. And the drive from the wingman, Connor Wynn. Bundled back by about eight metres or so. Good defence. Bain and Griffin. Good drive from Brad Day. And again, bundled back. The Trinity defenders are on top here. Featherson struggling to get outside their own 20. This time it's Pratt and Bowden. And, Ash and Matty Ashurst. Oh, sorry, Luke Gailey was there as well. Normally in the centre is Josh Hardcastle. He loses the ball. Alfred pushes the one defender away. It was Eden. And Trinity in possession now inside the uh, Featherson 30. Great way to start this set of six. Wormsley away from Martin Halfback. The skip and then the drive to oh, across 15 out. Quick play the ball. Five out now. Bowden's to the left of Liam Hood. Pitts to the right. Show, show and go from Hood. Can he get the ball down? He's on the line. This is a set, new set. Set restart. I hope the players have heard it. We've seen it. Short side Luke Gale. Show and go. Spins. He's short. Luke Bain turns. Has he got the ball down? Couldn't be any closer, could he? Get deep. Get deep, deep to Pitts. The offload to Jowie. Ball went off a Featherson player. Back to one. Got to get something from this. Come on. Referee's here to call, and it's a penalty Trinity. High tackle, Ben Reynolds, was it? 
No signal from the referee. Going to be a tap, Liam Hood. Baines is going to take the drive, is he? Yes, he is. Luke Baines just steadily into the defenders. Eight metres out. Hood's looked to his left to pass. He misses out. He's, oh, he tipped on to Alford. Oh, and he loses the ball. Thought Jay Pitts were going on his own. Just a bit rushed, that bit 100 mile an hour ish. 6 0 to the lead, 17 on my watch. Featherson prepared to use their first substitute. A couple of the Featherson players with hands on knees. Ben Nakabuai is one of them, Sammy Kabul is the other. Reynolds this time at acting half back. Comes right to Greg Eden. Distinctive running style, of course, the full back. Played most of his career on the wing, of course. Stocky centre Minikin. Can't get beyond Bowden, Hood, and Bain. Quick play the ball though, and Bowser's away. You don't dummy past Jay Pitts, I'm afraid, Harry. Substitute Jack Arnold's on. Takes the drive on the last tackle inside the Featherson half. Kick from Harry Bowser, acting half back. Straight into the waiting arms of Lachlan Walmsley. Come on, Lachlan. The jink and then the drive, no way through. Piss is walking back, so he's Asher, so he's Udi. Darrell Alfords. Sam, Sammy Kabula on loan from Cassis, left the field. Hood away from acting half back again. Long ball, McGilvers in the centre, Griffin. Jack Croft steps inside. Oh, I thought they were going to take him on the outside, Crofty. He didn't have confidence in his pace. It's back to one. Set restart. Take the drive, Pitsy, settle it down on the 30. Centre field, Hood's got the options. Caleb Well is ready to come on. Luke Gale, inside ball to Luke Bain. Now, which of the Trinity players is blowing the most to let Caleb Well be on? This is Pitts. Max Jowett, Walmsley from fullback. Quick pass from Crofty. Into the corner, Jerry McGilvery. He's back in the team, is McGilvery. How do well did Jowett do? How well did Walmsley do? And how well did Jack Croft do? Sponsored by Blue Malou, his third try of the season in the Championship. Trinity have hit double figures against the Rovers and they lead 10 points to nil. And we're in the 20th minute. Tries in the 10th, try in the 20th. And I've said it before, quick hands left to right. Bang, bang, bang. Crofty did well to catch the ball and offload all in one movement. And McGill Riz did what he's done so many times through his lengthy career in lone hard at the right corner. Well played Luke Bain. He's going to be replaced by Caleb Hamlin Welly. As Max Jarrett just wipes his head, wipes his brow and prepares to attempt the conversion attempt right from the touchline side. And as Max Jowett wipes his brow, so does our cameraman, Andy Davis. <laughs> You've only used your thumb. <laughs> it is warm up here in the commentary position, it really is. We're not even in the, we're not even in the sun. Hey, it could be, could be worse, Andy. It could be raining and we could be losing. But we're not, we're winning. 10-0, kick to come. He couldn't be closer to the touchline, could he? Those chants of wakey wakey by the way coming from below us and from the Featherston contingent of supporters. One or two choice words in that little chant, sorry about that. Come on Max. The North Sanders are cheering and why wouldn't they? Because Max Jarrett has added two vital points with the conversion. Sponsored by uh, Pete Autism as you all know. Two from two Max Jarrett, Trinity 12, Featherston nil. Twenty-two minutes on my watch. 
12 0 Trinity Lee Featherson. And Matt Ben Reynolds gets the game back underway. Here comes Caleb Welby. Gwelly. He's another that's in fine form. Last week's man of the match in the defeat. Chosen by the supporters. Pitt sends the ball to Gailey. He sends it on to Skipper Ashurst. Leo Tennyson's on, he's on loan from Hawkinson Rovers. Gadwin Springer's been replaced. Short side with Luke Gale. Saw a gap, did Luke Gale, did he? He's crossed the halfway line. Quick hands left to right, quick hands, oh, Hoddy's come down the blind. Dummy from Liam Hoddy, still going, his Hoddy. Overhead pass, around the body pass. Pra oh, he lost his footing a little bit. Easy tackle from the centre. Deep pass to Gale. Crossfield kick. Where's Griffin? Griffin knocks on. Unlucky Josh, good kick, Gailey. Who's taking off the ball was Luke Gale. Physio comes on. Matt Crowther. Is he carrying water? Is he going to have a look at Luke Gale? Just a word with Luke Gale from Physio. And the turnover on the Featherson 10. Pitts follows him round and makes a tackle. And the ball goes backwards. And the referee allows play to go on. Good drive from Brad Day. He reached the 20 metre line. Deep to Greg Eden. Oh, that's an even deeper pass to Minikin. Can't go outside the experienced. Luke Gale is assisted by Darrell Alfords and Ollie Pratt. Touched Judge on for some unknown reason. Eden first receiver again, but he offloads. No way through for Josh Hardcastle. Bowser acting half back just outside the 30. Deep ball to Ben Reynolds. Short ball into the hands of Nakabu White. Doesn't reach the 40. Last tackle. Reynolds is to the left. He'll be the kicker, will he? Goes deep. It well, should be Walmsley's on the 10. Loses his footing, but makes 15 metres. Jowett will find Alfords, will he? Yes, he will. Told us last week, didn't he? I was always prepared to put his hand up and take the drives, do the hard work as well as scoring the tries. McGilvery's come a long way in from his wing. He's going to take the next one, is he? Try score and McGilvery turns. Back row forward and drive it into the heart of the Featherson Rovers defenders. And again, the referee shouts to the Featherson defenders to get back a little bit. Good drive from Welly, 10 metres inside the Rovers half. And again, he's shouting the Rovers place come deep. Inside ball from Gale to Ashurst. Hoodie has to sprint to get in at acting half back. Gale goes high on the last. Not quite as deep on this one. Good take by Maddox Jeffrey. Minikin, strapping around the knee. No, it's a penalty, the ball came loose, but the penalty was given for an illegal tackle. Too high, says referee. 12 0, remember. Trinity lead. Reynolds finds Stutz just right on the halfway line. Hardcastle with the first drive. Bowls are acting half back. Down the short side with Aikens. Piggybacking from the Trinity defender, Holly Pratt. Reynolds. Substitute Arnold. 25 out from the Trinity line. Trinity have got to defend again. They've done it so far. Deep ball to Aikens. This is Reynolds, half back partner. Eden into the line, but no way through. Copybook tackle from Ollie Pratt. Assisted by Luke Gale. Reynolds again, first receiver. Couple of dummies. Reynolds on the last. Day's locked on. Maurice Kamano's on. Played with Trinity Academy. 
Ball went loose in the tackle. Referee says we've come to play on. He went back. No, he's not. He's him giving the knock on. First signal was play on. Then he gave the knock on. Featherson player knocked on. Turnover, last tackle. Griffin says, I'll play the ball. And Hood is acting half back. Where's Jerry McGilvery? Isaac Shaw's on for Josh Broden. Well played, Josh. Trinity's first try score, but Trinity have lost the ball. 25 metres out, so danger times again. They're going to have to defend again. Kimono. His name was down to start the game, then there was a late change in the team sheet. Aikens, the sidestep, he was going to pass the ball to the right. Opted to go to the drive, and Isaac Shaw was one of the two defenders, along with Liam Hood. Bows away, thought he was going down the short side, forward pass. Good call from the referee. Trinity defended well in the 28th minute. The lead, remember, 12 0 with those two tries. Josh Bowden and Jerry McGilvery, two goals from Max Jai. A beauty from the two line side to McGilvery's try. Guru to the right of the scrum. Alfords to the left. The two wingers again saying, hey, give me the ball. Let me do the hard graft. We're going right with Jeremy Gilbray. Is he in his last season, we wonder? Still doing it, isn't he? Still scoring tries plenty. And a round of applause from the packed Neil Fox MBE stand for his efforts. This is Josh Griffin, almost reaches the 30. Now it's Darrell Alfords, another winger that's gone a long, long way in. Welly takes some pulling down, saps the defenders, almost reaches the halfway line. Put down the short side with Josh Griffin, a little shimmy from Griffin, crosses the 40 metre line on the last tackle. Gale's pointed, he wants the ball, does Luke Gale, goes back to the right this time. Greg Eden waits, climbs and gathers, nobody there to put pressure on him. Referee gives a penalty to Trinity, there was a challenge off the ball, was there? I was following the ball. Featherson players say, what's happened, why? Ben Reynolds it is that's asking the question. Gale has given the ball to Liam Hood, which for me means we're going to run it from, uh, what, 28 metres or so. In the 30th minute. Hood finds Gale, where's the runners? Isaac Shaw with the drive. Is this is his third first team appearance on the trot, or is it his fourth? From the dugout, of course. Back to the right with Pitts. Oh, missing out, Pitts. Dummy from Jowett. Jowett goes to within eight. Hudson it acting half back. Shaw to the left. Goes behind Shaw, does it? To Pitts, it does. Gale offloads to Ashurst. Inside the ten. Try now would be nice, wouldn't it? Another try now. Come on, Udi. On his own, Liam Hood. Show and go. Can he get it down? Yes, no, penalty. Double movement, double movement, Liam Hood. So close, but yet so far. Unlucky, Liam. Where's a video referee when you want one? Next year, maybe. Hopefully. My ball. Reynolds finds touch, 25 out from the Featherston line. Minikin will tap and drive. Pitts and Ashurst wait. Pratt goes in to assist to complete the tackle. Hardcastle. Six metres short of halfway line. Bowes wants to quick play the ball. He doesn't get one. This is Ben Reynolds looking for the runners. Injury to Welly, he's injured. Caleb Welly's injured. Reynolds with a couple of jinks loses his foot in. Well, he's limping back into the defensive line, but he didn't look comfortable. 
He's defending now as well. He's defending the tackle of Jack, the drive of Jack Arnold on the last tackle. Goes away. Kick from uh, Ben Reynolds. He's gone high. Come on, Jerry McGilbray. Gathers it with no pressure. No, the Featherson players were around him. Nobody went to him. Croft drives. Across the 30. Nice drive from Jack Croft. Matt Crowder has a word with Caleb Welly. And it's Lachlan Walmsley who drives the next one across the 10 metre line inside the Trinity half. The 40 metre line, rather. Hood's busy. This is Griffin. Back play, Caleb Welly's on his back having treatment. This is Luke Gay looking for the runners. Matty Ashes runs inside on the angle and on the lance tackle. 36 metres out. Gales to the left. Hood goes left to Gale, puts it deep, surely, yeah, into the corner. 10 metres from the Featherson line, now thereabouts. Caleb Well is limping back. Rather gingerly, Caleb Well, look at that. Turnover, last tackle, of course. Leo Tennyson will play the ball eventually. One or two Featherson players with hands on knees. No sign yet of Toby Boothroyd or Tommy Doyle. And again, let's keep Featherson inside their own 20. They're now about 11 from their own goal line. The winger goes away from Martin Harper. Connor Wynn doesn't make many metres. He's now losing metres. Referee eventually calls hell just as the player goes onto the ground. Day at acting halfback, and this is substitute Leo Tomlinson, uh, Leo Tennyson. Deep ball to Aikens. Couple of jinx back into the Trinity defenders. Good to see Welly being involved after taking the knock. Reynolds will kick from deep and early. Straight into the waiting arms of Lachlan Walmsley who brings it back out pace and across the halfway line. Dives into the tackle of uh, Brad Day inside the Featherson half. McGill with the next one, will he drive? Yes, he will. Crosses the 40. Good 10 metre drive, if that. Probably 12, maybe. I'm doing, I'm doing him a disrespect. Well, he's having to go off. Toby Booth right back on. Here comes Isaac Shaw. Welcome back, Toby Boothride with the right hamstring strapped. Jarrett's being quiet, he's got ball in hand. McGilvery on the inside run. He's not the biggest winger, but I'll tell you what, he makes take some stopping, does uh, Jerry McGilvery. The Hudder, first receiver this time. Isaac Shaw just drives into the heart of the three Featherson defenders. He's inside the 20. Pitch to the left, Jarrett to the right, Pitts with the ball in hand. This is Luke Gale, Dummers inside, finds Walmsley, Walmsley seeing the gap and reaches and scores! Oh, he used Della Alfords perfectly as a foil. Walmsley's 16th Championship try of the season, sponsored by John and Linda Ashcroft, scored on the 35th minute, Trinity's third of the afternoon. Came into the line from fullback. It's a little bit like Max Jai. I wonder if Max Jai showed him how to do that. And used, as I say, Daryl Alphys has the four. There was just a hint of the dummy and then the pace. And then the reach for the line. Lachlan Morms with the try scorer. Third Trinity try of the afternoon. Kick to come, 16 0 Trinity lead. Let's just hope that uh, Caleb Hamley well is not too uh, too badly injured. Maybe just a, a dead leg. Get some ice on it. Apologies if you can hear the language from the Featherson supporters just below us. A few choice words. Bit of jealousy maybe. Bit of envy. It's a terrible thing, isn't it? Try scored about three metres in from this left touch line side. And again, we're going to get a great view of this one from our commentary position. So just Tommy Doyle to appear from the dugout. Come on, Max. Well, 
You can take as long as you want, Max, when you're doing that, lad. Wowzers, three from three. 18 points and he'll sponsored by Beat Autism, Max Jowie. Going in the 37th minute. Doesn't get much better than that, Andy, does it? Great try, great conversion. 18 nil. Ben Reynolds restarts. Long's left to come forward, and here comes Isaac Shaw. Ball lost, penalty stolen. Two in at the tackle, three in at the tackle. Josh Griffin just having a word with the referee as Luke Geller arranges to take the penalty. Finds touch again on that far side. Beautiful sunlight afternoon. Jack Croft to restart about what eight metres inside his own half. Jowick first receiver. Toby Booth Royd. He's not had the best of seasons, has he, injury wise, but he's back out there now. He's got a mop of hair, by the way. He's normally shaven headed, but the sunshine, I bet, has meant that he's got to grow his hair over the last few weeks. What sunshine, you ask? Pitts, Jowett, the dummy. Tackle made on uh, Max Jowett. Pitts again. Isaac Shaw this time. Onto the 40 metre line. Ball stolen, or was it lost? The retort from second row forward, Brad Day. Harry Bowes first receiver. Now is it acting half back? He's a former Trinity man. Substitute Tennyson. No way beyond those three Trinity defenders. Boothroyd, Shaw and Ashurst. Going wide left to Reynolds. The dummy. Pitts is not going to take that dummy, is he? Liam Hood was just there in case it was needed. There's a gap. Worms has lost his footing. Worms loses his footing. Try underneath the post. To Brad Day, Featherson Rovers score their first try of the afternoon in the 40th minute of the first half. He ran a good angle and therefore Lachlan Walmsley lost his foot in. No time's a good time to give us try away, but right on half time. At least the Featherson fans below us are happy. My watch says 40 minutes exactly. And it was a lost ball that gave possession to Featherson and the field position. And Ben Reynolds ain't going to miss this, is he? Right underneath the dot. Kicking towards what was the hospitality suite. It still is partly. And it's packed. Look at it. It's packed. Reynolds converts the try. Ball goes over the uh, top of the hospitality suite. And it's Trinity 18, Featherson 6, into stoppage time. Half time, Hooter goes before Trinity can get back to kick off. Great start, great opening 35 minutes for Trinity. Tries to Josh Bowden from close in from the hook pass. Jenna McGrilvery in at the right corner from quick hands. Lachlan Walmsley in from full back to use Olfus as the foil to score. Three conversions from the boot of Max Jide. And then just one blip in the first 40. A try just as we entered the stoppage time to Brad Day. Ben Reynolds kicked the goal. It's half time here at the DIY Kitchen Stadium. Trinity 18, Featherson Rovers 6.
making their way out for the second 40 minutes here at the uh, DIY Kitchen Stadium. Leading Featherston Rovers at halftime by 18 points to six. And just a disappointment was allowing Rovers to score that try right at the end of the first half. After losing the ball at just around the halfway mark. Here come the Rovers. We've now got two balls. Max Joyce got one, the referee's the whole one. James Vella, the Australian referee, hands his ball to uh, Max Jai, who prepared to get the second half underway. Here we go, Max to put it deep. Last from the whistle of the referee. Max Jai puts it deep into the heart of the Featherson Rovers. 10 metre zone, and they'll get the first touch of the ball. And uh, Toby Boothright was in there tackling hard. Just looking to see if Tommy Dow's out there. No, Liam Hood's still out there in the sun. Griffin, Croft, and Boothright pushed the Featherson player back inside his own 10. Great defence, the referee eventually shouts out. Short side with Reynolds. Don't take any dummies. McGillery does well, he's going towards touch and then he loses his foot in. Penalty Featherston. Somebody's taking Ben Reynolds off the ball. Late in the tackle count as well, wasn't it? Lachlan Warns will be low, he's getting a little bit of slaver from the Featherston supporters. And why wouldn't they? 
Greg Eden took the penalty, of course. Reynolds was having that little bit of treatment. Top and drive from Conor Barley, the centre. Bowes are acting half back. Reynolds is now okay, he's at first receiver. Pushes it wide. Morris Kimono with a drive shot of the halfway line. That's good defence. Who's that tackling? Isaac Shaw. And Jay Pitts, who else? Into the dummy to the right by substitute. Leo Tom Tennyson. Now he comes back to the left with Reynolds. Don't take any dummies. Aikens has joined him. Leading him from the full back position. And Croft hangs up. Croft has pinched the ball. He's back to one. Croft has stole the ball legally. He went through his legs. And the centre, Connor Barley, drops on it. So Featherson's got another set of six from here. And Connor Wynn tries to jink his way through the Trinity defence. Don't upend him, Max. Don't give any penalties away from here. It's back to one again, so they've got six more at Featherston. Reynolds, Kibula. Aikens looks for the runners. Reynolds, don't take any dummies. Copy book tackle from uh, Ollie Pratt. But it's only 15 metres out and they've got to defend. Aikens first receiver, looks for the forwards. That was a flat pass, in fact, it looked forward to me. As Tennyson takes another drive inside the Trinity 10 metre zone. Trinity have got to retreat onto the goal line. They can't go any further, can they? Aikens, Reynolds. Oh, that's a good tackle. Josh Griffin, the double pump from Reynolds. Griffin knew what was happening. Through his legs, knock on Featherston. Aikens trying to get a bit fancy. No advantage, Trinity, to be a scrum. Heading ball, Trinity. Luke Gale, Jay Pitts just having a word with Jeremy Gilbury and uh, Jack Croft. Trinity have opted to take the scrum on the 20. That's quite unusual nowadays, they normally go to the centre of the field. Jerry mcgilvery has gone inside at first receiver. Jack Croft's on the wing. Liam Hood's at the base. Liam Hood will find McGilvery. Straight into three feathers and defenders. Hood had acting half back. Who's coming on the next one? Daryl Alfes is. And again, three keen feathers and defenders. 18 6, remember, he's lost the ball. Head and ball Rovers, 25 metres out from the Trinity line. Featherston fans are happy for now. Aikens will feed the scrum, Harry Bowes is at the base. Reynolds to the left, Minikin to the right. Comes left with Reynolds. Short pass into the hands of Connor Barley. Max Giant was there to defend along with Jack Croft. Jake Arnold, the substitute, 12 metres out, centre field. Bowes has got the options, he's looked right, he's looked left, he brings it back to the left with Reynolds. Reynolds is involved in most things that Featherson do, good defence again. Max Giant and Jack Croft again. Bowes puts it deep. Arnold again drives to within two metres. Got a defence, Trinity. Still tackles left in this set of six. Short pass. Featherson try. Maurice Camono, former Trinity Academy player. 18 10, kick to come. Mono confirmed as a try scorer. Flat pass from Harry Bowes.
back in it Featherstone Ben Reynolds is involved in everything good that's coming from the Rovers About 10 metres to the left hand side of that uh, left upright. Not a problem from Reynolds. 18 12. One score between the two sides now and game on. Isaac Shaw off for Trinity, Josh Bowden back on. Still no sign of Thomas Doyle. Jowett's restart goes deep. And here comes try scorer Kimono. how Caleb well he is whether he's fit to return oh ball come out in the tackle but it went backwards Reynolds finds Brad Day Ted in from this near touchline side Connor Barley away from Martin Halfback Bowser Atten Halfback for the visitors Reynolds first receiver and will kick Not a 40-20, he went for the 40-20, he fell short of a Trinity in possession. Jay pitched to play the ball. Gaylord out in half, but I think he's going to, yeah, he does. He lets Liam Hood go there. Just organising the forwards as Liam Gale, as Luke Gale. Here comes Alford, hang on to it this time, dead out, which he does. Holly Pratt's come on the loop. Will it be Holly Pratt to take the next drive? Yes, it will. Upended, put on his back, penalty Trinity. Across the horizontal, and Ben Reynolds doesn't believe it. He's having a word with the, uh, with the referee. Relieving kick from Luke Gale. Another good penalty from Luke Gale. Ten metres inside the Featherston half is where Trinity will restart their next set of six. With Ollie Pratt taking the tap and the offload. Gale looks for the runners, one of which is Jay Pitts. Spins in the tackle. 15 metres inside the Featherson half. Toby Boothroyd across the 30. Good drive from Boothroyd. Put on his back, turned over, and slows down to play the ball as Boothroyd struggles to his feet. Here comes Pitts again. Gale, Walmsley into the line. He'd been spotted, the danger was there, and the tackle was made. Hood away from acting half. Here comes Josh Bowden. Has he ever scored two in a match? Six metres out. Luke Gale, short ball, Oli Pratt. Oh, there was a gap and Pratt just couldn't find the distance to the goal line. Deep ball, short ball, both right. Again, just a couple of metres out, but going backwards. Hood goes left, short ball. Try Trinity. It's that man, Josh Bowden, is it? It's Josh Bowden, I'm just saying, has ever scored two in a match. Good ball, Liam Hood again. 11 minutes in the second half. 22 points to 12, kick to come. Trinity have extended the lead. Second of the game for number eight, Josh Bowden. 
Josh Bowden confirmed as a score is sponsored in memory of the late Mel Downing. He's on a hat trick, is the front row forward. Max is drying his head again, Andy. Is it time for you to do yours? Yeah. Referee's having a, a long, long word with the Featherson skipper, Brad Day. Is it that Day's not happy or something perhaps has been said? I'm not sure. About 12 metres to the left-hand side of the upright. Jarrett's conversion attempt. Not a problem this surely for Max Jarrett. Flags go up, sponsored by Beat Autism. Four conversions from four from the boot of Jarrett and Trinity Lee with Featherson Rovers by 24 points to 12. Back to a 12 point ball game. And still no sign of Tommy Dyle. Doing big minutes is Liam Hood, isn't he? And Ben Nakabua, Ben Nakabua is back on. Try scorer, Sammy Kabula has left the field. Bulls right put down, no uh, unceremoniously. Here comes Daniel Alfords. Hood again at acting half back. Pratt's come round on the low, has he? Here comes Matty Ashers. Not mentioned him a lot, Matty. Keen Featherson defence. Deep to Jowett. Will he take the Featherson defenders on? He'll try to do so. Pitts is to the left. Josh Griffin's to the right. Reaches the 30 and crosses the 30. Deep to Gale will go early in the tackle count to kick it deep. Bounces kindly for Greg Eden. Good, a white, red and blue line. Led by try scorer Bowden, Ashurst, and who's below him? Both right. Winger Connor win. Penalty feathers, and something's happened in the tackle. Easy meet is this. Strange penalty. Reynolds finds touch. Restart from Minikin. Right from Arnold. He's worked hard as a sub. Croft goes low. Reynolds first receiver. Springer's back on. Reynolds again involved. Well done, Darrell Alfords. Good defence, Darrell Alfords. Short side. Ten out. Don't upend him and give penalties away. Rovers in possession, just eight metres from the Trinity line. Deep pass from Bowes. Reynolds had to reach. He's looking for the runners, one of which is Ben Nakabuai. Reynolds again, a little chip over. Come on, Jerry. Goes back towards his own goal line. Croft gathers. Penalty Trinity. McGill retaking off the ball. Toby both right off. Isaac Shaw back on. Well played, Toby.
Tommy Doyle's on as well. This is hundredth career appearance for Doyle. He'll probably go loose forward and leave Liam Kay as hooker. Pitts, this is Doyle. Hundredth professional first team appearance for the youngster. And he's on the 40 metre line, centre field. Pitts is first receiver into the dummy and the skip. Short of the halfway line. Comes right with Bowden. This is Doyle. The jink. Can't get beyond the tackle. Hood away from out in half back at pace. Bowden is on a hatchery, remember. The offload to Gale. Gale's looking for the runners. Holly Pratt comes back inside. Looking for the gap. Still going, Holly Pratt through the gap. Take him on, Holly. Take him on. Where's the support? Still going, still going. Try in the right corner, Holly Pratt. The form centre in the championship. Make no mistake about that. Sponsored by Andrew Schofield and Nita Delaporte. It's Holly's eighth championship try of the season. Trinity hit 28, Featherson 12, and the try comes in the 18th minute. Fifth of the afternoon. Great individual try. Weaving run from the centre. Great skill. Good balance and pace. McGilvy was screaming for the ball. Pratt knew what he was doing and went in at the right corner. Trinity into a 16 point lead with 22 minutes remaining. Still plenty of time. Featherson's season has been somewhat hot and cold. They've won eight, but they've lost eight. Last year's uh, league leaders she were the Featherston, but of course plenty of staff changes for James Ford's side. Good round of applause from the North Sanders for Oli Pratt's try. Four conversions from four for Max Jowett. He's scoring points are plenty, isn't he? Chasing down the club goal kicking record and the points in the season record held by. Of course, you all know that, don't you? The famous Neil Fox MBE. Max says it will be a true honour to be even mentioned in the same sentence as the big fella, Neil. Come on, Max. I'll tell you what, Andy. I'll tell you what. Wowzers. Well done, Max, from right in front of the Featherson spectators, and they're booing him. Five from five, sponsored by again, of course, Beat Autism. 30 points to 12, Trinity's lead. Reynolds to restart. He's gone deep again. Luke Gale says, that's mine, and here comes Pitsy. Spins 360 in the tackle. Liam Hood clapping his hands. Alfords hang on to the ball, they're out. Which he does almost up to the 30 metre line. We're in the final quarter on my watch. Tommy Doyle. This is Josh Griffin through the gap. He's got Max Joy on his right shoulder. He's got support on the inside with Lachlan Walmsley. They're not going to catch Lachlan Walmsley. He scores a try despite the efforts of the Featherson Rovers defenders. Second of the match. 17th of the season in the uh, Brentford Championship. Sponsored by John and Linda Ashcroft. Good support from the fullback. Two tries in as many minutes for Trinity. Try number six to Lachlan Walmsley. Brilliant break by Josh Griffin. He'd got Max Joyce screaming for the ball on his right, but it was running from left to right, pulling the feathers and defenders that way. Turned the ball inside to Lachlan Walmsley. It went away from what, about 30 metres? Feathers and Rovers, credit to the defenders. Chased him down, made the tackle, but not too close to the line. Wongsley scores about 10 metres to the right-hand side of the uprights. 
Try number six. And Jarrett's brought the ball just, just beyond the 10 metre line. You can kick him from the two line side, this shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Not seen Caleb Welly again, have we? Six tries, Trinity. Six goals, Trinity. Max is six, sponsored by Beat Autism. 36 points to 12. No way back, surely now we're in the last 18 minutes, but never say never. Reynolds again with a restart. Gale again will gather. Here comes Josh Bowden. Alfords again is carried well as Alfords lost the ball, hasn't he? An odd time, but keeps putting his hand up. Passes Jenna McGilvery on the first, this far win. Doyle with the sidestep. Woo, no way through there, Tommy. Those two big guys. Ashes with the next drive. Onto the 40. Goes down eventually. Doyle again, inside ball, along the ones that tips the ball backwards to Gale. Knock on, is it? Yeah, first knock on. Got a bit fancy, lads, got a bit fancy. Thumbs up, Tommy Doyle getting some running repairs from Matt Crowther, the head physio. Featherson ball right on the centre spot. Reynolds first receiver again, headed into the line. Jack Croft just hangs off and then he gathers him and he puts him to ground with the assistance and puts him into touch. Great defence, Liam Hood, Max Jowett, Jack Croft and Jerry McGilbray. Eden's not happy. Ben Reynolds again questions the referee's decision. The tackle wasn't complete. Luke Gale says we'll take the scrum on the 20. Oh, he says he'll play the ball. And Griff, Griff, Griff says I'll play the ball. Fifteen shot at the halfway line. Here comes McGilvery. Just drives the ball, he doesn't look in either direction. There's no skip, there's no step, just a no-nonsense drive. This time it's who oh, it misses out Bowden. Pitts, Gale, Wormsley into the line. Croft has already scored one. Uh, Pratt rather. No way through this one for Daddle Alphys, the defence got across. Long ball to Gale, Trinity running hot now, I'll tell you. Jowett out to reach, Hood's out in the centre. This is Croft, the dummy, oh, can he reach? Penalty Trinity, offside Featherston. <laughs> You're losing 36 points to 12 and you give a penalty for a simple offside. Poor discipline Rovers out, right on the goal line. Hood's got the ball in hand, he's taking it steady, so yeah, this is what we'll do, we'll be calling it out, Gale is stood wider, talking to the three quarters, tap and go for Bowden, who remembers on a hat trick, I question whether he's ever scored two, I'd really question if he's ever scored three, and I'm not being disrespectful to the likeable front row forward, deep to Gale, dummy, and then the offload, bounces in front of Alford, so he'll go for the corner, into touch, just makes the wrong decision sometimes, does Darrell, Spoils his game, I'm afraid. Sorry, Darrell. I'm saying it how I see it. Oh, 
Rovers will start with a play the ball 10 metres from their own goal line centre field. Carrying him back towards the goal line, that's great defence. Croft's there, Griffin's there, and so is Doyle. Short side again for Rovers. Sammy Kabul is back on for Rovers. Skip a day. Try score a day in that first half, of course. Pete's Croft defends, so does uh, Doyle. Workaholic is Tommy Doyle, either defending or with the ball in hand. Penalty Rovers, ball stolen. Again, says referees James Vella. <laughs> Nearly my ball again, Andy. Reynolds finds touch on the halfway line. Tap and drive from Connor Barley, eight metres inside the Trinity half. Harry Bowes again at acting half back. Springer with the drive. Kibola with the next drive. Oh, I thought he was got floating. Made a good five metres through the three Trinity defenders. Scooped up by Harry Bowes. And another good drive from the half-back. Keep all it again. Dunn was inside and now they offload Aitkins. Eden's into the line. Skips past one, skips past two. Does Greg Eden. Distinctive running style, of course. Day. 2-1-1. On one. Not getting past Max Jowett. No way was Barley getting past Max Jowett. Day had acting half-back. Reynolds has to reach. Sets beyond Liam Hood, loses the ball. Whistle's gone, we've got to come back, lads. Whistle's gone. Penalty Featherson, is it? Or is he just pointing to a play of the ball? He's coming back towards the Featherson line. Reynolds again is arguing with the referee, or he's discussing something with the referee. Gilbert taps, it must have been a Trinity penalty. Something said maybe. 30 metres out, Hooded acting half back. Croft with the next drive. Three Featherson Rovers defenders put the centre onto Gray. The earth on the 10 metre line inside the Trinity half. This is Thomas Doyle. He's still going on his hands and knees up towards the halfway line. Still he's going to roll another three metres, isn't he? Back to the right to Pitts. Never stops, does he, Pitts, eh? Gale's first receiver, he's got Bowden as a foil. Low arms lay out to reach. He's another that's on a hat trick, of course. He's lucky Walmsley. Asher's is acting happy. This is Gale looking for the runners, one of which is Jay Pitts. Not sure Pitts, he thought he was getting that ball. Come on, let's have another. 30 minutes on my watch, 10 minutes remaining. Bit of stoppage time, Jowie. The kick, oh, it's it, Reynolds. Now then, Reynolds, you've a full field in front of you. Liam Hood gets back, so does McGilvitz. McGilvitz and Hood will make the tackle on the Featherson over standoff half. Piggyback in, he's lost the ball, he's lost the ball. So Trinity's fans on the north stand cheer. Look at the grin on McGilvitz's face. Look at the grin on McGilvitz's face. He's happy. The Rovers supporters below us won't be. <laughs> Punching the head is McGilvery right in front of the Featherson Rovers fans. A few stewards down below us, Andy, have you noticed? Not expecting any problems, surely. Tries either side of half time for Rovers, gave us a game at 18 12. Since then, three converted tries. 
currently 36 points to 12 and currently Luke Gale sends the pass inside to what surely was the try of the match Ollie Pratt and at last Liam Hood gets the break and Toby Booth rides back on Oh, it's Luke Bain back on. Sorry, my fault. Wom's has seen a gap. Oh, he gets the pass out. Gets the pass out and Croft has scored. Jack Croft becomes Trinity's seventh try scorer. Trinity have hit 40. Great pass, Lachlan Wormsley. Jack Croft is sponsored by Croft Roofing Limited and it's just his second Betfred Championship try of the season. But he was in support of Wormsley. And it was a great pass, wasn't it? Out of the back. Well done, Wormsley. Well done, Jack Croft. Max Jack doesn't rush these conversion attempts normally, so he ain't going to rush this one in this heat, is he? About 40 metres in from this near touch line side, he's brought the ball back onto the 20 metre line as uh, Max Jarrett, referee, stops the official timekeeper's watches by raising both arms in the air. Said it himself again. It's the same routine, isn't it, every time? Seven tries, six conversions. Can he keep up his 100% record? Of course he can. Seven tries, seven goals, sponsored by Beat Autism. Six sevens is 42, points to 12. And definitely no way back now for James Ford's side. And converting the try for Wakefield Trinity, sponsored by Beat Autism number one, Max. And I've not given you the usual reminder, have I, about next Sunday, we're at Dewsbury. We've already beat them here at the uh, DIY Kitchen Stadium. They were beaten heavily this weekend by Toulouse. We won't mention Toulouse anymore in this afternoon's broadcast. I promise you that. Gail Bain, fresh from the dugout. Who gets spun and loses ground. Gail shouts for the ball. Gail gets the ball. Alfords comes back at pace. This could get a little bit tasty. These Featherson players are wound up. Tommy Doyle away from acting half-back. Tommy Boothroyd is now back on. Maddie Ashurst. Oh, losing his foot in. Gale, short ball, Pratt. Clattered into the Featherston defenders on the last tackle, 32 metres out. Gale goes high with the kick, back towards Darrell Alfords. Bounces just inside the field of play. Just within centimetres. Could be Featherston possession. My watch says we're in the 36th minute. Four and a little bit minutes to go. Four and a few seconds, Andy. Four minutes and a, four and a few seconds. I'm excited, Andy. Four minutes and a few seconds. Well, that's four and a that's four and a little bit minutes, isn't it? Don't be so pedantic. Featherson in possession. Reynolds at acting halfback. Goes short down the short side. Giant and Croft, the two Trinity defenders, taking back a couple of metres. Both Ride, Griffin and Bain, the three Trinity defenders, on that occasion. Running it deep with Greg Eden. Cut out pass onto the far wing. 
Connor wins racing down that far wing, sends the pass inside. Longs and misses the tackle again. Nice inside ball from the Featherson player. You've got to run it wider, Featherson, if they hope to can score there. Reynolds now, what's he going to do? Cut out pass. Good defence, Jack Croft. Great defence on the centre, Connor Barley. Dead acting half back. Reynolds again, crossfield kick. Come on, Darrell Alford. Featherson player goes into the corner as they going into touch. Penalty Featherson, is it? Hang on, said he might get tasty. Luke Gale's in there, I can see his boots. The score is Trinity 42, Featherson 12. Turn around and walk away and smile. Official timekeepers' watches have been stopped yet again. Luke Gale goes to Greg Minikin. I wonder if they've been uh, playing colleagues in the past. <laughs> they were hugging each other. Referee, I don't know where this touch, Judge. Well, the referee's got a word with, uh, what's the word with Matty Ashurst and uh, Brad Day, the two skippers. Greg Minikin's the Featherson player. And now it's Luke Gale and Matty Ashurst's turn. Handbags at 10 paces. Ends up with a Featherson penalty right on the Trinity goal line, right in the corner, just in front of the corner flag for a high tackle. Come on, don't let him score. A minute on my watch, but of course now a couple of minutes of stoppage time. Whoops, ball went backwards, is it? Yep. Nothing silly, let's not have anybody sent off in the last minute. Bowes finds Aikens, he's been quiet this half as Aikens a half back. Jake Arnold's run hard and is inside the Trinity 10. Harry Bowes at acting half back. Reynolds, Aikens again, the two half backs linking well, it's two on one. Minikin comes inside, Minikin will score. Just to the right hand side of the upright. Puts a little bit of tarnish on the second half performance for Trinity. 42 points to six. And we're in stoppage time on my watch. Again. 42 16. Did I say six? 42 16. Sorry, Fed. Great attendance, 6,453. Shirt sleeve order throughout the 80 minutes. And Trinity back to winning ways. And firmly at the top of the championship. 16 wins from 17. Reynolds converts the Minican try without a problem. Forty-two eighteen into stoppage time. Thanks for joining myself, TC and cameraman Andy Davis. Be with us next weekend on Sunday at Dewsbury. Continue the uh, progress towards back towards Super League. Fingers crossed.
Jowett goes deep with a kickoff. Aikens gathers. That drive from Godwin Stringer. Bowser that in half back. Reynolds, Eden. Down this wing goes forward pass. Oh, the Featherson fans won't be happy. Lachlan Wormsley, the Trinity man of the match. Well played, Lackey. Two tries. Created another for Jack Croft. Good on the high ball. Good in defence. Lost his footing for that try just before the break. But generally speaking, he's done well at full back. Max Jarrett, of course, played at half back. And now feeds the scrum. Deep ball from uh, Tommy Doyle. Maddy Asher's running wide. Just gets pulled by the shirt tails. Deep into stoppage time now, more than two minutes. Pitts. Bain, back to the opposition. Doyle at acting half, that goes left with Pitts. Gale, Jowett, cut out pass. Olferson at the left corner. It's that flying dive in the somersault. That's surely the, uh, the end of all the action after Max Jowett will have attempted the conversion attempt. Sponsored by Future Einstein's 14th Championship try of the season for Daryl Olfers. I've said before, scoring tries at will, the winger. 46 18, kick to come. Eighth try of the afternoon. And Max Jarrett, the, the creator again with that cut out pass, missing out Ollie Pratt. Had to be finished by Ollie Darrell Alford's. Van Hooters just gone, by the way. Eight tries, seven goals to date. Can Max Jarrett finish on perfection? He's still not rushing, is he? He'll go through the procedure. Perfectionist that he is, and why not? The, the disappointment and the, the problem here, you know, could be the loss of Caleb Welly. He'd only played about, what, six or seven minutes when he came on. He took a, what looked like a bang to a thigh. Maybe just a, hopefully, just a little bit of a dead leg, bit of ice, bit of uh, heat treatment during the early part of the week. And hopefully he'll be okay for Dewsbury next weekend. But who knows? Right, come on, Max. Eight tries, make it eight goals. And again, he couldn't be closer to that, that left touch line side, could he? Seven from seven. Oh, he's missed one. Take him off. Boo, the booing Max Jowett. <laughs> Seven from eight. 18 points to six at the break. And Featherson's reduced the areas early in that second half, making it 18 12. And then tries Josh Bowden's second. Ollie Pratt with a lovely individual run. Lachlan Walmsley's second. And then Lachlan Walmsley creating space for Jack Croft. Jowett kicked four second half goals. And the only tarnish really was the try to Greg Minikin just as we approached stoppage time when he stepped inside a couple of would-be defenders. 6,453 spectators have seen it finish here at the DIY Kitchen Stadium. Trinity 46, Featherson 18. Thanks once again for joining me, TC, cameraman Andy Davis, and in the sunshine, we'll see you next week at Dewsbury.